Tuesday morning, eight o'clock. So that must mean it's another edition of Trash Talk. Yeah. Yeah. And we're we're on a road trip this week. And we both are are cruising down the highways and decided that, hey, you know what? We've 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 stopped at a few truck stops along the way. And uh, each each one it they're all like they're all the same and they're all different yeah yeah they are <laughs> the first the first thing is when you get off the exit off of the, off the highway the first thing is you, you gotta you gotta be careful because the, the cars go to the left and the trucks go to the right and boy if you go where the trucks are it, you got to go back around over around and through it just to get to the get to the pumps well, and it's it's a it's a really interesting thing, depending on what highway you're on and what time you go, because there it's just a line of trucks because those trucks, you know, they don't want to stop. They're not making money when they're sitting on the ground. You know, right. they want to keep. So you've got an army of semi trucks pulling in and then you got your little car trying to get around. and It's crazy. Yeah. You know, and then, and then when, when you get there, no matter how big the truck stop is, it it's almost you know, uh, 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 for sure that you're going to have to sit in line waiting for a, a pump to be open. Unless you go to Bucky's. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And I, well, I mean, I've gone to Bucky's a couple of times and had to, had to wait. You don't have to wait long. No, no. But the fun part, the fun part is watching the cars jockeying around because all of a sudden somebody's over here at pump number 12 and they see somebody just finished over at pump number 42. So now it's like, it's like at the grocery store, everybody, everybody hustles to try to get to, to spot number 42. And then when you do that pump number 16, just, just opened up. You're just bouncing around. Yeah. It's, yeah. It, it's, I hate that at the grocery store too, but yeah, you see it all the time too. You know, you know, what's, um, <clears throat> what's great is I like going, well, I love road trips anyway, but I like going to those, those truck stops, those, I, they're not even gas stations but uh they're they're legitimate truck stops when you're on the road and you just it's one you you don't know you know like you feel like you've been driving forever so they used to they still have them and then they call them oasis or oasis or whatever right and they would go above the freeway so you pull over get gas and then it would be like the actual inside of restrooms, McDonald's, different stores above the freeway. I thought those were the coolest thing when I was a kid. Cause I'm like, wait a minute, this is like a bridge with stuff. Like, this is great. <laughs> you know? And you could look out the window and like, you know, see the freeway. I just thought those were the coolest. I loved them. Yeah. You know, and, and, and also my, my, my uh, father-in-law was a, was a traveling salesman. Uh, okay. And he used to he used to tell us when we'd get on the highway to go on a trip or something. He would tell us what exits had the best food because oh, yeah. the truckers always stopped at the diners where the best food was. So you know there may be there may be a Bucky's or a Loves or something along the highway that's that's a massive truck stop. But boy, if the next exit had Bob's Country Truck Stop, yeah that's where you wanted to go <laughs> that's and, and those and those are the places we talked about that on one of our episodes the road trip episodes there's a place in michigan um i swear it's just called tony's and um it's on the way to frankenmuth i think you know the christmas town right and that is a famous famous i mean it's a diner truck stop but it is because they serve you with your pancakes they give you like a pound of bacon and they give you like, oh yeah. When they give you butter, you ask for butter. It's like a bowl of butter. Like, and it, but it is some of the, <laughs> it's amazing. And you know, you just drive and you're like, oh, we got to go to Tony's. Forget all these other places. We're going to Tony's because it's good food, you know? And, and you'd get, you'd get your pancakes and you'd also get, get your eggs with your pound of bacon and some, some hash browns, grits, oh. biscuits with gravy. And and when you're all finished, the waitress comes over and hands you a bill for four twenty five. Right. Yeah. Your your bill is the price of one gallon of gas these days. <laughs> oh, oh my! You know, good luck. Can I get another order to go? <laughs> you know, the, the worst though is when you're driving and you've been driving for a long time. And nowadays it's a little bit different than it was back in the day when we actually had to use like real maps um, because you could you know your for the most part your cell phones your your navigation system will tell you when there's a, a rest stop, truck stop, 
gas station, whatever, for the most part. If, if, you know, there are some areas that it's, you know, the signal goes out, but it is awful when you're like, I got enough gas, I'm okay, but I'm going to drive. And then you start driving and you're like, wait a minute, there's nothing for the longest time. And you, oh. and you think there's a truck stop. You just, cause you see all these semi trucks. So, you know, there's a truck stop down the road. And there isn't. That's one of the scariest situations. I'll tell you, <clears throat> sometime drive from Dallas, Texas to El Paso, Texas. Well, yeah, I have no desire to go to El Paso, but yes. <laughs> I, I'm telling you, you watch you watch that needle on your your you your your gas meter just going down, down. It's starting to strangle that E. And all of a sudden, all of a sudden, there's an oasis. You're like, it's I'm a, there. I'm going. it's a truck's. And there's, and there's two pumps. There's a line on, on either one. There's also trucks waiting, oh. uh, <laughs> you know, but the food's usually pretty good there too. I'm a notorious gas drainer um, <laughs> where if my tank is half full and I'm on a road trip, I'm like, we got this. <laughs> right. And, and I do it. I, I, I try not to do it when my son's around and it's just me. <laughs> but I'm notorious. Like even on the way back, we went to the cabin recently. And even on the way back from the cabin, I was like, I'm going to drive another 20 miles, you know, to get closer to home before I get. And the, 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 it's literally like this, you know, it's down flat. My car's yelling at me, like, hurry up. I ain't got it in me. Yeah. Uh, I'm notorious for that. I don't know why. I just don't want to stop. I hate stopping, you know? And, and I've, I've learned <laughs> through, for, through a couple of bad experiences that I, I usually fill up when that needle gets to one fourth of a tank. You should, you should. I, I'll, I'll, I'll stop filling up, fill it up. It's really not even good for your car to run it that low. Yeah. You know? But you know, we were, we're talking about places like Bucky's and folks, if you've never been to a Bucky's, wow. you got to go there at least once. And, and also if you're in a hurry to get where you're going, don't stop at Bucky's. No, that's an hour trip. It's, it's an because hour more yeah bucky's is a combination gas station uh restaurant it's a museum uh yes. it's a gift shop uh, it's a bakery it is about anything you can think of bucky's has already thought about it i am that's one of the greatest things i discovered moving to texas i love bucky's it's not overhyped it's not overrated I love it. I love it. The food. I mean, we'll just do it on a, on a, on a random day during the week. I'm like, let's roll out to Bucky's just, just for the heck of it. I try to keep it to where it's only on a road trip day, but because there's one within like 30 minutes of me, I'm like, let's go. Yeah. <laughs> we got, we got one <laughs> uh, North on, on highway 75 heading up towards uh, Oklahoma. Yeah. You know, the next exit is Bucky's Boulevard. They got yeah. their they got their own exit. <laughs> well, and I go to the one in if, if I'm going, I go to the one out in Denton, um, which is not too far from Patriot Sandwich Company, by the way. Um, so I could kill two birds with one stone, and I will just, I mean, and we'll just go. Or even when we go down to Austin, it's a given. I'm I'm hitting Bucky's. We go down, I'm going down to Glen Rose to go camping. I'm hitting Bucky's, like it's great. And, and Bucky's is one of those places where you may have, may go in just to get, maybe going in just to get a cup of coffee. You're going to walk out with t-shirts. You're going to walk out with caps. You're going to yep. walk out with all kinds of souvenirs and everything. And then you're going to get to your car and say, damn, I forgot my coffee. I, I, I forgot gas. <laughs> I, I've gone in and I've, I've, you know, been in with, with Luke and I've been in, by the way, I'm going to give a quick shout out. Happy birthday, Luke. It's tomorrow, but we're going to watch this. You know? Oh, happy birthday, happy Luke. Happy birthday. I figured he'd like the truck stop one. Um, yeah. Yeah, so that's cool. Um, <clears throat> but uh, I'll go in with him, and it's a $100 trip. You know, yeah. I walk out with, like, a folding chair, brisket, <laughs> and I'm like, what? <laughs> here. <laughs> and then, then you get home, and you say, what did I get all of this stuff for? But, but that's so place like literally that last yeah. year when we went to Bucky's, I got him a folding chair for the beach. <laughs> yeah. And, and while you're on your, on your way to the exit, all of a sudden you pass a little kiosk there and it says, you know, uh, uh trucker caps, buy yeah. one, buy one, get three free. <laughs> of course I'm buying them. <laughs> so, 
So I bought a, I bought this little tumbler, this Bucky tumbler. It was white, really cool looking. I guess you could put like your wine or drinks in there. What I, I think it's for wine. I, I've never used it yet, but I thought one day this is going to be really cool to sit on the patio and put some whiskey in there or wine or, and, and I bought it three months ago and I, I haven't used it yet. <laughs> yeah. you, you never use it, but it's sitting there on the bar just, just as, you know, to, to show that you were at Bucky's. I took it camping or took it to the cabin just this, a couple of weeks ago. And I never used it there either. <laughs> I'd love to find out how many t-shirts t- they sell annually, <laughs> because oh. e- everywhere you everywhere you go, if you're going to in Texas, if you're going to Austin, you're going to to Houston, whatever. There's wherever you go, you're seeing people wearing Bucky's t-shirts, and you know, you know yeah, I don't have one. I and that's the only don't. it's the only place you can get them. Is I don't think you can buy a Bucky's t-shirt no. online. You got to get it there. You gotta go. Yeah, I don't have one. Luke has three, but I don't have one. Um, I don't even have a Bucky's like cool hat, and he has. No, I don't. I don't know. I think he has one. You, and, but and you over, bring up a good. Over, uh, over the years, an, another one that is 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 good is Loves. They yeah, have love. these Loves truck stops and all. And Those are the, the the upgrade to Loves is uh, not only get your gas and all that kind of stuff and some souvenirs, but they usually have like Arby's and Dunkin' Donuts and a pizza place. And they got yeah. all of the, all of the, the, uh, franchise places that are, are there. So, you know, you, you can never go wrong there either. What I always love too on, on these truck stops, these bigger ones <clears throat> is when you go in, you see all the odd merchandise they have. There's always it, inevitably, and maybe not anymore because we're getting to that point where they don't need them. But I remember looking at tapes, cassette tapes, rolling the cassette tapes and finding like old cassette tapes or old CDs, or they'll have VHS tapes or movies, you know? And then yeah. you always find the oddest t-shirts, like random hats. Like I, I bought a band, uh, I forget what it was. It might've been, it wasn't Led Zeppelin. It was an old band. They had a, a, a hat for 10 bucks. And I was like, yeah, I need that hat. And I just bought it. <laughs> you, you know what? It also used to be, you used to go there at, uh, into those truck stops to buy uh, ashtrays. Really? Yeah. You used to have ashtrays. They were made out of glass. They were made out of metal. They were made out of all kinds of stuff. Uh, that and shot glasses. Yes. Yeah. Yes. In fact, that's why you would stop at that brand of truck stop because whatever state you were in, you would get that state's shot glass. I used to have, I mean, I still have a cousin, but um, he, and he's younger than me, a lot younger than me, but um, <clears throat> he uh, would collect shot glasses like at a young age. And so whenever we went out of town, we would get him a shot glass. I mean, and my, my uncle Dennis, you know, travels a lot still, but he would always buy him. His name's Ryan, but we just called him cuz. And he would always, you know, real, real great nickname. Ah, anyway. Um, so we, uh, he would buy, uh, buy him shot glasses from all across the country. I mean, he would have them just lined up in his room. He had more shot glasses than me. And that said something. So, <laughs> <laughs> but they were cool. You know, they were, they were really cool. Well, and, and, and if you've ever traveled route 66, when, yeah. If you travel Route 66 from Santa Monica, California to Chicago, uh, you know, every every stop along the way has got a Route 66 shot glass from Arizona, from Arkansas, from, you know, Missouri, uh, Oklahoma, yeah. whatever. So people would 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 collect the shot glasses just along that route. I get it, though. Like, I could see that being a cool thing, because, I mean, that's no different than me and hats and T-shirts. Yeah. So. It's yeah. probably cheaper to buy a shot glass, you know. <laughs> uh, well, or or you buy a hat and you get a shot glass on the side or something, you know, <laughs> a, a, a twofer or a bundle, you know, a, right? t- a T-shirt and a hat and a and a shot glass. Right. <laughs> this, I love this. that though. I love finding those unique um, oasis gas uh, truck stops. I I just think it's it is part of American history, you know. And, and, and also when you go there and you can buy either a small, medium, large, a colossal or a drink that you have to use a hand truck to get it back to the car. <laughs> yeah. And who wants to? Well, you know why they make them that big? Because when you drink it, you can use it as a toilet. Because so. <laughs> <laughs> there's not another rest stop for 150 that, miles. That, that's right. 
yeah, it's a du dual purpose. But that's multitasking your your drink cup. Right. <laughs> and I'm not saying I haven't done that before. So. Oh, no, no, none of us ever have. Typically, I just stop on the side of the road and I don't care, but then I'll end up on a list. Well, yeah, for, <laughs> for, for us guys, the whole world is our toilet. toilet. It is. Yeah. Sometimes I feel like the world is a toilet. <laughs> <laughs> and we are just the messengers. <laughs> That's the truth. But hey, folks, we, we are the messengers bringing, bringing our show to you every week. Uh, on Tuesday mornings at eight o'clock in the morning. Uh, yeah. We're glad you joined us again this week. Hope you had a great time. Hop in the truck and head out on down the highway. And we'll be right back here with you next week. Same time, same place. Okay. Go out and make it a good one. See you guys. <laughs>